it vanished. What in the world was that? Phew. Making me fight some crazy ass monster my first minute back on the job. I just went through survival training, you know? Well, whatever. Glad we pulled that one out. <laughs> you look like you barely broke a sweat. As rambunctious as ever. That's well, pretty impressive. <laughs> I owe you one, Randy. And signed. But how did you know we were here? After I wrapped up training was dismissed, I went straight back to the SSS building. Then I heard you guys were on your way to mines. By the time I finally caught up, you're already neck deep in it down here. Yeah, talk about a lucky break. And about the cave-in at the entrance. The mines miners punched through a little while ago. The second they did, I made my way in and came running after you. Good boy here showing up as a backup was a coincidence. Glad he did, though. <laughs> Thanks, Zite. What a surprise is on you, boy. Thank you, Zite. Remind me to pick up some meat for him later. Hey, you guys okay? You put the helmet on, on your head, mate. And Gantz and the miners. Hey, thanks for the hand earlier, boys. Thank the goddess you're all in one piece. <laughs> and a red-haired angel. Thank you all for helping out so quickly. No need. We were the ones who asked you to do this job. Hard to believe what's going on in here. Aren't these tunnels that our great-grandfather's mind? I never heard anything about them being like this. More importantly, why did the entrance suddenly cave in like that? I think we should go back to town for now. We can explain things fully once we're there. I agree. I should report all of our findings to Mayor Bixen. After returning to mines, Lloyd and the others explained what had happened to Mayor Bixen and the miners. In the end, there was no conclusive evidence pointing to who could have destroyed the gate or laid the trap at the entrance. The surrounding area was searched once again. After confirming the absence of anyone suspicious, the Guardian Force was contacted and additional patrols were requested. Meanwhile, the SSS made their way back to Crossbell City. I do love the colour of the blue here. It's a nice blue. Like, bye-bye! Oh dear. Yeah! I was thinking it on the drive here, but too, but damn, this car is great. Don't you think I'm gonna be a total lady killer driving around in this thing? Is that what you think? Only amateurs need to rely on wheels to get where they want to be if you catch my trip. Never said I needed anything. <laughs> I think he got you. Sorry to tell you, but I think Wazzy might have you beat in that department, Randy. Come on, Noel. How are you gonna do a fellow CGF to lum dirty like this? <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, Randy. You got a spare key from the chief, didn't you? When did you learn how to drive an orbital car? During my training, actually. You should all learn too. Could come in real handy. Yeah, you're right. There's no downside to learning. It may prove quite useful. Hmm. Well, given the choice, I'd prefer to be driven than to drive. Ah. We still don't know who's responsible. I can't imagine they did it without a motive. How could they have found explosives like that? Even the CGF doesn't use those kinds of things regularly. Are you sure it couldn't have just been a blast charge that was lying around in their old mine? Granted, I don't know much about explosives, but still. No, it wasn't. Huh? Do you know something we don't? Based on the smell of the residue near the entrance, I'd say there was a, it was a newer model of explosive, uh, no older than one or two years. And a high-performance one at that. You don't say. 
I'm shocked you could discern all of that just from the smell. It's not like gunpowder weapons are completely obsolete. They've fallen out with regular armies, but even now, some people prefer them. Especially Jaegers. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Randy. Are you saying... So then... I'm just talking in hypotheticals. For the record, Erebonia is still the largest user of gunpowder weapons. Also what I was thinking, Randy. They even have a larger stockpile of old Reinford models. Really? I figured you'd know a lot more about these things than us. But Erebonia, huh? That makes matters even more complicated. Yeah, especially after yesterday. What? Something happened? Yes, actually. And he explained the details of their encounter with Lecturer Rundle. That was yesterday? And that playboy really is an Imperial spy, eh? Hm. I always knew he wasn't normal. More than a spy, he's a captain of their intelligence division. He might simply be here to scope out the city ahead of uh, the trade conference. But there's also that red-headed girl who was with him. Yeah, <sighs> that girl. <laughs> Can you feel the warmth of her hands even now? Really? Oh, what's this? I missed something good? Mm-hmm. Uh, well... Now I'll explain what happened with the red-headed girl that was with Lecter. Oh. Stop imagining it. Seriously, I can sympathize with how Risha is treated by Ilya now. <laughs> I guess there are some similarities. Little jokes aside, things may be coming to a head soon. I forget, she wasn't a normal civilian. She wasn't the only one. There's also that man we met on West Crossbell Highway yesterday, who came from the direction of the Empire. What to think of it, he had red hair too. Yeah, now that you mention it. Was it red like Lecter's? More like that girl's. In fact, they might have been the exact same shade. Wait. Could it be? <laughs> so, it was the same as mine, huh? Uh... Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> oh, shit. So they finally come. I was hoping this wouldn't take long for him to spill the beans. It's progressing quickly, this. In a good way, which means that... Because it's still going to be a long game. Because it will be. It's it's a Falcom game. Especially because it's a Kiseki slash Trails Falcom game. It's going to be long. Which then, therefore, means we're getting all this very quickly, which means... What the hell comes later? Yeah. Randy, what do you mean... Uh, now what? In the tunnel Hi. as well? Yes, this is Lloyd Bannings of the SSS. Bannings, I Oh, Dudley. I heard you were away on business. Uh, did you just get back? Yes, this afternoon. Emma filled me in. She said you were a big help yesterday. It was nothing, just doing our duty. More importantly, has something happened? Yes, I figured you all should know. The old Ravage compound was sold today. It officially has a new owner. The name of the deed is Crimson & Co. Crimson & Co. Wait, it's not Heiyue? Seems they snatched the contract from right under their noses. It's an Imperial company that has a pretty checkered history too. They're from the Empire. What kind of company is it? And they run a high-class club in the Imperial capital named Nue Blanc. They also opened a branch location in Crossbow City about a year ago. Apparently they're aiming to launch a full-scale expansion into the state. But it must be a front, right? Well, is Orlando there? Randy, uh, yeah, we just met up with him. You should hear the details about this Crimson and Co. from him. I'll contact you again tonight. Wait. What's wrong? Sounded like quite the conversation. <laughs> now I get it. So, they got their hands on the old Ravarch building, didn't they? Noel? Can we get back to the city? Mine taking us to the entertainment district. Walk right by the back alley entrance. Sure, but... Randy. Just what is this Crimson & Co? Well... Like I'm sure Dudley said, it's an Erebonian company that manages one of Heimdall's most poppin' clubs, Nuit Blanc. But in reality, it's a front used to fund the Red Constellation Jaeger Corps. It's raining here now. 
I love the blue. <laughs> We're done here. Shall we head back? Again, stopping by the deserted mine could be interesting. If that's where you're going, uh, then be careful. In the meantime, the fool is needed elsewhere. <laughs> Do your worst. Ah, that reminds me. Our assignments for this plan have been decided. You, the Seventh Angui, and I are going to be in charge. Really now? Looking at the big guns, are we? I suppose it makes sense. There are going to be some... tricky pieces on the board. Maybe it's for the best. That was my thought exactly. Before I forget, I think I'll leave the operation report on the Astral Code in your hands. Quite excited to see how it fares in a low-level network environment. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of that when I've got free time. Well then, for the sake of our Grand Master. Indeed, for the sake of the Grand Master. <laughs> they may not be an audience, but there's probably no harm in making a declaration. Number <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it just excites me seeing that name here. They're, they're still there, though, even in the rain. You can't park there, it's in the middle of the road. Randy. Let's follow him. The burst gauge has been deactivated. Oh. The burst gauge will become temporarily unusable after the climax of each chapter in the story. Oh, so we're nearly done with this chapter. However, it will become available again when the story begins to pick up. When that happens, the burst gauge will then reappear in the top right corner of the screen. Be sure to take note of it. I'll try. Wait, let's try and leave. We have to chase after Randy. Let's go to the old Ravarch building. Gotta do a mini rounds at this point, surely. Is Randy starting to come down? Yes, I should wake up Sandra and send her home. Are you looking for someone? Sandra and I are the only ones here right now. Where did the fishing guys go? Man, the rain hasn't let up all day. Doubt I'm reining anyone else in, so I may as well clock out. Redhead guy. I think you went deeper into the alley over there a second ago. Right, I, don't, I don't get closer. I'm turboing so she comes back. There we go. I saw this ripped guy with red hair around here a little while ago. There's a cute girl who was acting like a cat, too. Oh, and some wannabe playboy who looked like he was a tourist. It's not every day you see a team that weird. Saw someone rush past here a second ago, with the same red hair as that buff guy and a cat girl. Are they related to something? I didn't get a good look at him, so I don't know. Right. Oh. There's Lecter. おじき。シャリ。久しぶりだね、ランディに。2年ぶりか。変わってないようだな。Randy. It's them. The ones from yesterday. So, the pieces begin to fall into place. Yeah, and again, the pieces are falling into place very quickly. Which implies there's going to be so much happening later. <laughs> so you really are related to them, huh? Their color was a dead giveaway and all, but still. Wasn't expecting a family reunion today. 
What are you doing here, Lecter? Are you involved with the purchase? Maybe a little bit. Man, it's a good thing we beat Heiwei in the four-eyed lily dragon or whatever to the punch. <laughs> That's right. I had to back off in the Eastern Quarter, but this time I'll get to play with them all I want. The Eastern Quarter? I mean, that war you guys waged with Heiwei last year in Calvert. So tell me, Uncle. What are you doing in Crossbell? What the hell are you planning? <laughs> We're here for business, obviously. More importantly, I've got something to tell you, Randolph. My brother finally bit the dust. What? Happened last year while you were MIA. He and Zephyr's boss ended up offing each other. <laughs> Battle to the death between the War God and his bitter rival, the Jaeger King. You should have seen it, it was awesome. <laughs> That's so. Stupid old man. He died doing what he loved. But he had a real satisfied look on his smug ass face, didn't he? Yep. Looked like he had the time of his life. Lucky old man. Wish I could find a rival like that. Nothing else, he went down with no regrets. Aside from having a worthless deserter of a son. Vacation's over, Randolph. Keep your schedule open. We'll be in touch. Later, Dolphe. Catch you guys later. Randy. Randy, was that? Are they who I think they are? Yeah. Vice leader of the Red Constellation, Sigmund Orlando. His daughter, one of the commanding officers, Shirley Orlando. My uncle and cousin, the strongest and worst of the ogres. Sorry, Ogres. Ah, it's a nice little ending to chapter one. Bad, not bad. Best make a save. Out of sight, out of mind. The West Sumeria Trade Conference. Yes. An international trade summit hosting prominent heads of state in West Sumeria. As proposed by Crossbell's newly elected mayor, Dieter Croy. Oh. Been waiting for the trade conference for years. Think how much that top cost. That's a lot of top. Additionally, the opening of the conference will double as Crossbell's unveiling of its new city hall building. Its name? Orcus Tower. At 40 stories and 250 arch tall, the tower is the continent's first true skyscraper and is garnering attention all around Zemuria. It is the day before the international dignitaries are to arrive in Crossbell and attend the unveiling of Orcus Tower. The special support section, meanwhile, has been called to police headquarters to attend a meeting about security measures. And that sums up the security plans for the next three days. The CGF has already adopted a rigorous inspection system at Belgard Gate and Tangram Gate. As far as the rest of the city is concerned, if you would, Chief Jolich and Inspector Donovan. Right. The Metropolitan Division will have all hands on deck with city patrols these next few days. They're at max operations until the end of the conference, so don't worry. As for the Second Division, our efforts will be focused on the train station, airport, and commercial areas. We're also at full tilt until this is all said and done. And as you know, the First Division will be in charge of the conference's security. I have little doubt our division is capable of handling any and all possible outcomes. But there's no such thing as a flawless security system. That's where we come in, isn't it? Yes, as I told you, it would be best if the SSS's Chief Sergei were in charge of the public relations here at HQ. I'd also like you to be in charge of coordinating with the Guardian Force, too. Sure know how to ask a lot of a guy. <laughs> with how you're always sticking your nose into things. I'd say he's got the right man for the job. 
Our entire system is going to be stronger with you watching our blind spots. You're really living up to the reputation of Sergei the Sentinel. Give me a break, that's ancient history. Sergei the Sentinel? <laughs> I can see it. Knock it off. I said I... it was a long time ago. Anyway, uh, you're good with them helping out? Yes, I'm fine with it. The SSS will do well as reserve forces for the time being. Reserve? We're to continue our regular duties, but be ready to respond at a moment's notice if we're called in, am I right? Yes, essentially. The Bracers use a similar method as well, but as you can imagine, we can't just rely on them for something like this. And since we have new tenants in the neighborhood, we need the insurance in case of unforeseen circumstances. By tenants, you mean the Red Constellation. I do. The Red Constellation Jaeger Corps. They're said to be one of the strongest corps in all of West Sumeria. We've been able to confirm that the bulk of their forces have now entered Crossbell. We also have to take into consideration that they and Heiwei had a large-scale conflict in the Republic just last year. They're dangerous, all right. You thinking they're going to come after Heiwei again, now that they're both in the same city? No, actually. You're staying alert, but Jaegers are ultimately motivated by Mira. Just because they've been enemies before doesn't mean they're enemies now. Isn't that right, Orlando? I suppose so. They couldn't care less about territory, thank you. Unlike a Mafia, to Jaegers, all that matters is Mira and the battlefield. Not uncommon to have a beer today with the same guy you were trying to kill yesterday. Silver lining being, don't think they're holding a grudge against here, anyway. True, but that begs an even more elusive question, doesn't it? It has nothing to do with Heiwei. Then why has the Red Constellation come to Crossbell? First Division has been looking into that, but nothing has been confirmed as of yet. However, we have reason to believe they're being backed by the Imperial Government. It's impossible to overlook that it may be related to the Trade Conference itself. If so, maybe it does involve Heiwei if they're being backed by the Republic. I wouldn't rule it out. Point is, we can't just ignore them. If this trade conference is ever going to go off without a hitch. Obviously. On that note, we have intel that the Red Constellation has also been spotted on the outskirts of the state. We are going to the surrounding towns and villages. Bears investigating while you're there. Understood? We'll be gathering more information on the Red Constellation. Or tackling our support requests. We'll also be able to drop whatever we're doing and provide backup if necessary. We're happy to help however we can. Darn straight. We'll be counting on you, SSS. Yeah, thanks for having our backs, kids. Yes! I like this. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> that damn car again. Yes! What? I was gonna say, be like, yes, horse is back, but where's his balloons? Bum, bum, bum. I mean, you put me here, but you didn't say press anything. CGF training exercise. Deputy Commander Douglas. I'm requesting that Special Support Section participate in a CGF training exercise. Once you are prepared, please come to the Tangram Gate. New doctor request, okay. Dr. Salen, St. Elsie's new professor of pharmacology and neurology, has an urgent request. While you're here, we have the results of the drug analysis that you requested. Please come to St. Ursula Medical College reception desk. Ancient text. Ancient Jedi text. Investigation. Crossbell Public Library. I heard that there is a large quantity of potential valuable ancient documents in Stargazer's Tower. Naturally, as a librarian, I would love to retrieve them. Could you please help me investigate their circumstances? Old America Road monster. Extermination. Go kill a monster. We know that one. The urgent requests are from the CGF at St. Ursula this time around. I'm a little surprised to see requests from Instructor Douglas, too. Instructor Douglas? You're referring to the new Deputy Commander of the CGF, right? Yeah, he used to be an instructor at the Police Academy prior to becoming Deputy Commander. He's where I picked up my suppression techniques and hand-to-hand -hand combat fitness. Before he was an instructor, he was a full-time member of the Guardian Force. 
But he got on the bad side of the CGF's former commander, and it was... He was demoted, so he wouldn't cause trouble. D Dugo? D D Dugo? Dugo? Was in charge of my training, too. Man's tough as nails. Wouldn't be surprised if he was the strongest guy in all the CGF. Oh, he sounds incredible. Considering his position within the CGF. Looking forward to meeting him. This request is the perfect chance. And this other one seems to be from a newly appointed doctor at St. Ursula. Yeah, looks like they took over the pharmacology and neurology departments with Joachim gone. I don't mind scoping out what kind of person they're like, if you feel me. I feel like I've heard the name Salen somewhere before, though. Isn't it a well-known name out in Remiferia? You may be thinking of the Salen Company. They manufacture medical equipment. They're a distinguished family with ties to the Grand Prince. It's possible our sender is related. In that case, I doubt they're suspicious. Either way, we'll have to go to St. Ursula since they'd like to speak to us about the drug. Sounds like you'll be able to meet up with that loving big sister of yours, so you're so infatuated with? You know, the chick who looks like a holy saint in her nurse's uniform, right? What? Uh, well, I mean, yes. Cecile has done so much for me over the years. Uh, wait a minute. How do you know about her? You've never even met her. My bad, I spilled the beans. Oh, damn it, Randy. You're only upset because they're right, Lloyd. Sounds like Wazzy was right on the mirror. Although, considering how amazing she is, I can sympathize with him. <clears throat> anyway... Uh, yes. I'd like to meet with Cecile before we see this new doctor. I'm worried how the hospital has been coping after all the damage that Joachim did. I agree. Now, but isn't Shizuku coming to the city today? Kia left for the Bracer Guild to visit her a little while ago. Yeah, she sounded really excited to play with Shizuku all day. I figure they're still at the guild, so let's check in on them if we have the time. It sounds good to me. This Shizuku girl is the Divine Blade of Wind's daughter, right? Yep, right around Kido's age, too. You wouldn't believe how sweet a kid she is, considering how uptight her old man can be. Yeah, Shizuku is really adorable. I was excited to meet her after hearing Fran make a fuss about how cute she is. That's fun. In that case, why don't we use our rounds as an opportunity to get to know the Divine Blade of Winds family? And while we're at it, start looking into a certain someone else's family too. Wazzy? Watch your mouth. It's fine, the man's right. Jokes aside, we may share the same blood, but they're no laughing matter. Wouldn't be surprised one bit if they're the ones who rigged the mine with explosives. Randy... You don't have to jump to conclusions that quickly. Nah, I know Uncle and Shirley too damn well. This is just a hunch, but I'm pretty sure they were testing your skills out. They want to see the skills behind the team that snatched me away. Uh, you went that far just for that? Let me guess. For them, it was all just harmless fun. All seemed harmless. They're the type to go to those lengths to satisfy their curiosity, aren't they? Bingo. That kind of trap may as well have been a housewoming gift from the Constellation. Sucks since I just got back, but... It'd be better if I looked into them by my... Uh... No. This is exactly why we should all look into them. We shouldn't let the Red Constellation do as they please. We'll eventually need to ascertain why they're here in Crossbell and if they're working with the Imperial Government. However, that's only something we should do together, as the SSS. Lloyd... We need you, Randy, and I have no intention of letting you do this by yourself. I think it's fair to say you've had a harder time without us, too. So please, stop trying to brush us aside. <laughs> Look at the guilt in those eyes. He totally got you! But he's right, though. Combining our strength in times of hardship is what the SSS does best, isn't it? Indeed it is. How else would we have handled the court incident without facing it as a team? Isn't this the exact same, Randy? <laughs> you got me. Guess I've been acting like a bit of a selfish ass. You don't say. Anyway, now that we have our own car, we should patrol outside the city while we work through these requests. It's a good opportunity for us to visit Belgard Gate and America Village too. Good. Right, we haven't been to either in a while. By the way, Commander Balls is stationed at Belgard Gate now, isn't she? Yes, that's right. 
I think she's one preparing for the trade conference, though. Mirael's out there, too. So it'd be cool to check in on her. She would be off, then. When there are more than four people in your party, the extra members will act as a support member. Support members remain outside of the front lines in battle. They may occasionally appear in the battle order bar to perform various attacks buffs on their turn. During enemy ambushes, party formation, including support members, is disrupted. Be sure to keep your support members' equipment and quartz up to date, too. Members of your active party can be switched in the tactics menu. Furthermore, you can toggle support crafts on or off via the status menu. Why is he shouting at me? So mean. Hey, Randy. Hmm? What's up, Lloyd? Regarding your father. Oh, that. I'm not too shocked by it. Pretty common for people to bite the dust in that world. Besides, I cuddled ties away old man when I deserted. Doesn't mean I felt nothing, but... Well, I was kind of relieved. That's so. Listen, if you need to talk about it, I'm all ears. I am the leader, after all. I may even be able to offer some decent advice. Sorry, was that too rude of me? <laughs> nah, you're good. I was just thinking about how much you've grown up. You're moving your honorary big bro to tears. Oh, please. Well, I guess if I ever need some advice, I could come to you. Better not let me down. Never. Huh? What are you doing? Did you forget something? Sorry. Right. We'll be there in a second. All right. Let's take it slow and get this show on the road. You are now able to access all of Crossbell via the Orbital Car. It's parked at the rear entrance of the SSS. You are welcome to use it as you see fit. Now I am thinking it's very much that case of... Things have changed because we've got flags up. It's like the things... <gasps> there it is! Haas, where was it? Where was your balloon stall? You were worrying me. But yeah, th things have changed and the trade conference is coming up. So it's like we will do the rounds, of course. But as to whether or not we will do the cutting... No, not this time, because it's it's very much like... I feel like there's been a significant change because we're in a new chapter, so things may have changed, people may have moved, and that sort of thing, so we'll do a proper rounds. And I feel we'll do a proper rounds in the next part. So we'll start the next part, probably at Belgard Gate, because I'm really interested about seeing that. So we'll start the next part at the car. So we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.